Have you ever wondered how Buddhist ethics shape the path to enlightenment? Ethics in Buddhism aren't just rules or commandments, but a practical toolkit to cultivate wisdom and compassion, the very essence of enlightenment. At the heart of Buddhist ethics lie the five admonitions, a set of guidelines that encourage moral conduct and mindfulness. Intrigued? Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Today, we delve into the five admonitions, a cornerstone of Buddhist ethics. In the practice of Buddhism, the five admonitions serve as essential guidelines for ethical conduct. They form the bedrock of Buddhist ethics, steering practitioners on the path towards enlightenment. These five guiding principles are not commandments but compassionate recommendations for a life lived in harmony with all beings. The five admonitions are to abstain from taking life, from stealing, from sexual misconduct, from false speech, and from intoxication. Each of these admonitions encourages practitioners to cultivate moral virtues such as compassion, honesty, respect, truthfulness, and mindfulness. These ethical guidelines, when practiced diligently, lead to the cultivation of inner peace and wisdom. They serve as a moral compass, guiding practitioners in their everyday interactions and decisions. They are a testament to the Buddhist belief in living a life of non-harming, integrity, and mindfulness. Let's delve deeper into each admonition and understand their significance. The first admonition advises practitioners to refrain from harming living beings. This goes beyond physical harm, extending to emotional and psychological harm as well. It is a call to cultivate compassion and empathy, recognizing the interconnectedness of all life. This principle guides Buddhists to live in harmony with nature, respecting all forms of life, from the smallest insect to the largest mammal. Moving on, the second admonition urges followers to abstain from taking what is not freely given. This is not just about stealing in its literal sense, but also includes dishonesty, fraud, and exploitation. It fosters a culture of honesty, integrity, and respect for the rights and properties of others. It teaches us to be content with what we have and to value the effort it takes to earn something. The third admonition advises against engaging in sexual misconduct. This principle is about upholding respect and responsibility in relationships, ensuring consent, and avoiding actions that would cause harm or distress. It reminds practitioners to conduct themselves with decency and honor, respecting the sanctity of their own and others' bodies. Next, the fourth admonition instructs practitioners to avoid false speech. This includes lying, deceit, slander, and divisive talk. It encourages Buddhists to communicate truthfully, clearly and kindly, fostering trust, mutual respect and understanding in relationships. It emphasizes the power of words and the impact they can have on others. The fifth and final admonition cautions against the consumption of intoxicants. This is not just about alcohol or drugs, but any substance or activity that clouds the mind and impairs judgment. It underscores the importance of mindfulness and clear-mindedness in the pursuit of spiritual growth. It encourages practitioners to be fully present and aware, helping them to make wise decisions and act with discernment. In conclusion, these five admonitions form the moral framework of Buddhist ethics, guiding practitioners towards a life of compassion, integrity, respect, truthfulness, and mindfulness. They are not commandments, but gentle reminders of how we can live more harmoniously with ourselves, others, and the world around us. These five admonitions serve as guiding principles for Buddhists, they are the bedrock of ethical conduct and a compass that directs the path to enlightenment. Let's take a moment to revisit these core tenets. The first admonition encourages us to see the value of life in all its forms and to refrain from causing harm. It's a call to cultivate compassion and non-violence towards all sentient beings. The second admonition underscores the importance of honesty and respect for others' belongings. It's a reminder to steer clear of theft and uphold integrity in our interactions. The third admonition advises against sexual misconduct, advocating for ethical behavior in matters of intimacy. It's a call to avoid actions that lead to suffering and harm. The fourth admonition promotes truthfulness in speech, fostering trust and understanding in our relationships. It's an appeal to refrain from deception and misrepresentation. And the final admonition cautions against mind-altering substances, emphasizing the importance of clear-mindedness in our spiritual journey. It's a call to abstain from anything that clouds our consciousness, 
These admonitions are not mere rules, but profound teachings that invite us to deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. They promote moral conduct, compassion and wisdom, serving as a beacon guiding us towards enlightenment. By adhering to these admonitions, Buddhists strive to cultivate a more mindful and virtuous way of life. They are stepping stones on the path to enlightenment, aiding in the transformation of the self and the world around us.